Well, 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 look at this. Looks like we got some links for good old dual links, and it does look like Konami is, is looking to start upgrading the games the game's meta because we are getting a rather crazy structure deck in my opinion here um teller knights teller knight advent ex coming out i'm assuming this is going to have a lot of reprints uh for teller knights but uh, looks like we have specifically this card that people have been asking for forever for this archetype in Trevor. Uh, I'm reading this off of the Duel Links meta website um, from our friend Random Plox. So if uh, if if more cards get leaked from the the this little structure, usually um, with structures it's hard to leak. They're just leaking it because that's the cover art card so you know it's in there um, but if there's any other cards that end up getting leaked that are really really good make sure to check out their website but i am just going to talk about trevor specifically let's read the card three level four teller knight monsters during the turn you exceed some of this monster you're not supposed you cannot special summon monsters except teller knights uh, if this card is exceed summoned or return all their cards in the field to the hand uh, once per turn, you can detach one XC material from this card, send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. If this card with an XC material is sent to the graveyard, you can sum, you can target one Teller Knight monster in your graveyard, special summon it. It is very easy to get three Teller Knights on the board. Uh, it also helps them that they have, I believe, the um, this guy. Uh, you can detach an XC material, discard one card, special summon from your extract one light. Teller Knight XC's monster by using his face up, as well as a card from your hand. Is he a light? Let's check. He is, so that should be able uh, to work for him as well. Uh, Teller Knights are an interesting archetype because they, um, they're mostly stall, <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Uh, they, that right now, they don't really have that kind of boss monster to, to finish the game. Uh, usually, they'll just go in, hit you with crazy amounts of traps and, and counter traps, and will try to, um, will try to kind of keep their deck size healthy, if you will, using their um, their Citrus guy, the, the Serious guy, uh, return five cards, draw a card, uh, and they just keep doing that until they win the game. Uh, so it's going to be very exciting to see how this deck ends up changing with, because this is a very aggressive card, you know? This this card will be causing OTKs. Um, when it's Exceed Summon, return all the cards to the hand is a very powerful effect, um, especially if it's comboed with some back row removal or something like that so this summon doesn't get stopped um and then of course sitting a random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard that could be hitting sphere karibo that could be hitting kiteroid etc etc obviously kiteroid wouldn't be as good because you know um it would it would they would still be able to use it so i'm hoping with the addition of this card the deck can get a little bit more aggressive um i've never been a huge fan of slow destiny draw based decks or anything like that I, with mini hand traps mini back row i don't mind if you just play d draw just play hand traps just play back row but when you do like all three <laughs> that's just when it's like all right dude just stop all right so Excited to see that. Only other card right now that's leaked is the Lady Panther, which is a relevant tribute one face-up card to return one of your monsters destroys Rose of Battle during the um, during this turn to the top of your deck. It's kind of an irrelevant effect. Um, but we are finally getting the Fiendish Chain Bundle, which is um, really exciting, actually. If you don't have Fiendish Chain at three, this, this would be a good time to get it. You also get uh, 10 packs, I believe, of the newest pack. Um... So if 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 you already bought the latest pack in Phantom Knights, you probably want to wait to use this bundle deal. But the Fiendish Chain is a fantastic trap card uh, that'll still you see usage, especially in decks that want to play like TTH, for example. Um, Fiendish Chain doesn't go to the graveyard, so you're able to still play your TTH. And that is pretty much it. Biggest leak is that um, Trevor is finally coming. I'm excited to see how it changes up Teller Knights. Here's hoping that it is not stall anymore because I really don't like that deck. <laughs> you know, um, I'm I'm excited to see the full list. I don't know if it'll get updated on the website or not. It doesn't look like it's updated as of the making this video. But check out Duel Links Meta. Uh, see if the rest of the list gets leaked, and hopefully, because uh, there is a lot of uh, URs, there's the, uh, in, in the old auto map box, there's a lot of URs, so hopefully the, all those URs and SRs get put into this structure deck, so we don't have to go back and buy it, because that box is not good anymore. That's it for me, boys. Hopefully, you guys uh, who are waiting for this, so I, I hope uh, I hope you're excited that you finally got your Teller Knights. Um, 
whenever they come out, we're going to have a tournament, I'm sure. There's a GG Tour every other week for Duel Links. Make sure to enter with this deck. I want to see what it does. Don't make it a stalled deck, though. Make it OTK-focused, and I will watch you all stream along. Till next time, boys.